Hey guys, Tactical Diesel Dad. I am on a job site where I have brick myrtles. I've got to remove. I've got one here. Went on the other side of the driveway. I own a stump grinder. Problem is, we've got some either fiber optic or telecommunication lines, and it looks like electrical right there. So I can't safely bring my stump grinder to uh, to grind these out. So. Instead of digging them out, which is still penetrating the soil with a sharp metal object and uh, hitting it, um, you know, hitting the soil with something like that, uh, a shovel or a pickaxe, I could still break a line. And even though I'm insured, I don't want an insurance claim. So let me show you my setup. I'm going to use a four to one technical advantage. It should be four to one. It might be three to one. I don't know. I've heard the first line doesn't really do much. Uh, so anyway, I've got my anchor. Uh, I got a snatch block here, so let me start over. Coming from my winch over here to that first snatch block, and it's anchored with the uh, with the um, strap. And then it goes back to a shackle on my truck, and that's connected to a, another snatch block. And then it comes back, and you can see right here is my anchor. And I went ahead and also anchored it to the stump. Um, and then, because I don't want pressure on my transmission, I have, I'm using that uh, big uh, bald cypress as my anchor point. My truck's in neutral with the emergency brake on. So I'm gonna fire my truck up and then we'll see. I, I had to back my truck up while it was connected to try to get more uh, slack on this strap and uh, I saw the, the stump was already moving so I think I'm set up for success so let me fire the truck up and then we'll pull this we'll pull this thing out all right one of the nice things is I have a hot idle should should go to high idle let me see May not let me unless I'm in park. Hmm. Give me just a minute. All right. Well, I can't get my high idle to turn on right now. I shouldn't need it. I'm just going to be winching. Uh, it is nice to have though. Uh, so I'm going to set this down, get it on camera, and then we'll go. working pretty well. I also have a chalk in front of my, my tire as well. go so uh, I'm gonna disconnect this one knock some of this dirt off because I don't want to haul all that off with me then we'll do the second one all right so I'm gonna try uh, another setup um, and so obviously so I've got a 16,500 pound Warren winch uh, Warrens are meant to be used every single day versus I've got a mile marker on my Chevy it's a really good winch um, but Warren is better. It's made for daily use. Uh, so I'm going to flip this around. Alright, so I'm going to use the wheel as a mechanical advantage uh, to lift on this instead of um, pulling. Now, I have the power to pull. Uh, I just want to try this out. Um, so I've got my anchor right here. That is stationary. Goes back to a snatch block on that side. To that snatch block. Back to the winch. 
So uh, this yellow strap is rated for like 40,000 pounds or more. That is uh, gonna be pulling up on that wheel and that's anchored to the snatch block, um, which will be pulling from there. So technically we're pulling right here and that would be my anchor, I guess, where the wheel is, but that's gonna move. So anyway, and I've got a safety tarp right here, really heavy canvas tarp with some really cheap uh, $1 Home Depot um, clamps right there. So let me get my remote turned on and we'll do this again. All right, so I've got a uh, Warren remote control winch and it interfaces where the uh, controller normally would plug into. It's got a antenna connector, Bluetooth, I don't know what it would be. It's right there, you plug that in and you can turn your uh, remote on. So I'm gonna stand back and here we go. Now I'm using that uh, solid rubber skid steer tire. I've seen a lot of people use regular tires and they go flat and pop out. So that's why I brought that skid steer tire. Look at that. I just want to burn my winch out. That's why I'm doing it in, in uh, bursts. Keep going until all the roots are broken. Then I can just knock all that dirt off and uh, fill in the hole with that excess dirt, I don't wanna haul that off. So I've uh, winched before. Um, I've never used my winch to, uh, with the mechanical advantage to pull out shrubs before. Again, I've got a stump grinder, but I don't want that stump grinder digging in and, and ripping out some fiber optic cables. And then I got a $20,000 insurance claim. So I uh, hope this was a informational video. Hope you found it as cool as I did. I had fun doing it. And thanks for watching and like and subscribe.